Hello beautiful people. I am your travel agent. Hope everybody doing well. This video has closed caption. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notification. If you are watching in TikTok, please follow me. It's already been a couple of days here and the rain is unstoppable. I'm stuck in the hotel. Keep eating delicious Filipino food every day. From chicken adobo to fried bangus, vegetables and beef tapas. And fruit shakes are incredible. From the tropical mango shakes to guyanavana. Oh, unbelievable. I almost forgot the, how the taste and smell of Guyavana. Now this memory came back. Many years actually I didn't try this. Long time. I usually love mango. You guys should come in the Philippines and try. Philippine has so many things to offer. Not only Manila. Don't be blinded by Manila. Manila is a cosmopolitan huge city millions of people want to enjoy the nature of the Philippines and the tropical nature. If you go outside Manila, drive about 45 minutes out of Manila, you are already in the beautiful zone. And all those islands, Philippines, that have more than 2,700 islands, they also have a different languages. Filipino people are very hospitality, friendly, funny. They always smile, you know. Uh, it, this is one of the good thing about it. Um, that's why I love Philippines, you know. People are very, very uh, friendly here. They try to help you all the time. Chili in Bicol is very special. Most food you eat here has a chili. And it is a pride in the cuisine for Bicolanos. Bicolanos eat more chili than anywhere else in the Philippines. They even have an ice cream made with chili. Legaspi City, one unique culinary delight is chili ice cream. This ice cream gets its hits, a spicy kick from local grown chili, which is known as Siling Laboyo, which may be small but packs a hell of a heat. Chili ice cream is a very popular treat in the Bicol region loved by many and consider a must try for any tourists so if you're coming here you try this chili ice cream finally rain has stopped and all of a sudden the sun showed up and the wet street got dried up in a blink today i plan to visit downtown legaspi city i want to explore the shopping malls and walk around and see what i find for transportation. Uh, here is no taxi, so tricycle is everything. Legaspi City, the capital of the province of Albay in the Philippines, is known for its busy downtown area that blends with the uh, old and the new. And not to forget the stunning backdrop of the Mayan volcano, one of the most famous volcano in the world due to its perfect cone shape. The Legaspi City downtown area is also known for its commercial vibrancy. It hosts a variety of shops, malls, restaurants and cafes. Legaspi City has a total of five malls. Wow, that was a surprise. But I'm not going to visit all of those. I'm going to start with SM Legaspi Mall. I heard that is the biggest and largest. And then probably I'm going to go to Ayala Mall. And that is it. Let's go.
look at this Toyota emblem. It's a displays like a Mercedes bench. I think someone is very creative. As you notice, here is lots of uh, vendors. Mall owners uh, usually have several reasons for restrict street vendor from selling food at the mall entrance, especially if the mall has its own food court, uh, because it can create conflict and competition. But here is no problem. Food is selling here as well, as well food is selling inside the mall and it is uh, well organized appears to promoting a job which is good This is lechon baboy. It's a popular Filipino delicacy that involves roasting a whole pig over a charcoal fire. I'm almost run out of Filipino money, which is pesos, and I know that this mall has a money exchange. So let's go there and change some dollars. The lady in the money exchange, uh, she asked my passport. I, I usually don't carry my passport in case of robbery or other issues. As a tourist, it is not advisable to carry your passport while walking around. Instead, I keep a picture of my passport on my phone and I have my ID with me all the time. So I told her that look I don't have a passport but I do have my passport card with me so she was okay with that it took about 15 to 20 minutes to complete the process for money exchange um, including I have to sign four different uh, pages but you know what usually that is not the case in the Philippines you go to Philippine Casa de Cambio you just get in there put your dollar there and take your pesos and walk away done within three to four minutes but here took a little bit extra times and I felt like a wait a minute am I here to buying a car from the dealership that I have to sign so many paperworks This is Barong Tagalog. It's a formal short own in the Philippines that carries a great significance as a national symbol. It has long sleeve and typically made uh, from transparent fabric such as pinia, pineapple fiber, or juicy, which is uh, known as banana silk, and features intricate embroidery. The Barong Tagalog is a formal attire typically owned by the Filipino men on a special occasion, such as wedding, official events, religious ceremonies, school functions, or national holidays. I remember owning two of these shirts 
similar when I used to live in the Philippines. By the way, there is a story about this uh, Barong Tagalog. During the Spanish colonial period, the Spaniard required Filipino to wear this Barong Tagalog untacked so they can distinguish them between the ruling class. That is kind of racial, isn't it? This part of the mall is a waiting section. Having waiting clothing and waiting planning services located in the same location, it can be a strategic decision and it is convenient one-stop shopping. The Belgian waffles is a famous worldwide for its distinctive taste, texture, and appearance, which differentiate it significantly from other types of waffle. Means this waffle probably the best in the world. And I'm trying to get one. Let's try one. This is good, really. This guy's busy here. He probably selling uh, more waffle than uh, McDonald's here. This is Ayala Mall. The Ayala family is the wealthiest billionaire family in the Philippines. Let's go inside and find out what is going on. Here in the Philippines, you will notice presence of security guards in many buildings and malls. It's a cultural norm. In Filipino culture, security guards are seen as sign of respect and protection. The LCC Mall likely provides a range of services, including banking, beauty salons, pharmacies, uh, restaurants, and other for convenience for the shoppers. I found a pair of shorts in my size, and since it is the last one available, I'm going to buy it. I think the LCC uh, mall is much better, more nicer than Ayala Mall. Ayala Mall is a little bit ran down. 
I don't like the ceiling how it is. But the best mall I would say in Legaspi would be SM, for sure. I think I saw a mosque nearby. It's a strong indication that there is a, probably a Muslim community in this area. I might consider exploring the community. So let's go walking towards to the mosque and find out what is going on. Stop, brother. How are you? Come, come, come. Yeah. Salam alaikum. Where are you from, brother? Eid Mubarak. Yes, where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. I'm a uh, old Marano tribe. Marano? Yes. It's a different language. No, different language. What What does mean Marano? Marano tribe. Oh, it's a tribe? Tribe, Marano. I see. But you speak Mar Tagalog? Muslim tribe, Marano. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's a Muslim tribe, Marano. Yes. Oh. You Muslim? Of course not. Of course. <laughs> Oh, look at this, people. Filipino people are hospitality. I'm, I'm just I'm Muslim, Muslim all. All yeah? Muslim? All Muslim. Okay, Allah say, Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Yeah? Muslim? No. Yes. yes. Okay, Muslim. say Surah Fatiha. <laughs> huh? Who can say Surah Fatiha here? Uh, you? Yeah. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Yeah. Let's try. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let's try. Let's see uh, what kind of Muslim you are. If you can see Al Fatiha, you give money. Yeah. yeah. That is our brother from Los Angeles. $100. No, me, 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 me money. no, you never make negotiation with religion. Me, Fatiha. Never. This one, Fatiha. Fatiha? Yes. Okay. Uh, what, what's your name? King, King Fahad. King Fahad? Yeah! yeah. 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 Wow! Woo. Okay, King Fahad, go ahead. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbil alamin. Ar-Rahmanirrahim. Malik yawmiddin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka na'sta'in. Ihdina al-sirat al-mustaqim. 
الصراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين الله أكبر الله أكبر yes brother can you give me a hug one time only yes you are a Muslim oh brother this is from Los Angeles mashallah thank you Although wearing a hijab is a personal choice, uh, in the West they tell us on the media that this is forced by a man to the woman to wear a hijab, which is not true. So some families or individual believes hijab to be a symbol of social modesty. Get one, can you all get drinks for all? <laughs> Sanka. Santa, yes, you have, you have a two-liter, huh? Two-liter bottle. Ah, two liter. Have, have. One point five. One point five. Okay, buy one point five. This is Santa for our black brother. Of course, yes. of course. Mashallah. You get a one point five. One point five. Give me one point five. Makano to. Sixty-five. <laughs> 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 You, you, you guys are sharing. This, this only yeah, weighs 30 pesos. This is no problem. Santa, our brother. Okay. You get four pieces, only 150 pieces. Four? Four bottles. Okay, let's get four. Okay, everybody I treat. Thank you for your uh, drinks, brother. No, no problem. Thank you. Uh, Uncle Sam's travel. Yes. Uncle yes. Sam, vlogger. Yes. You're welcome in Liga City Muslim community. Thank you so much. This Muslim people were very friendly and eager to chat. I had a great conversation with locals who invited me to visit their small mosque. Marjan. Marjan? Yes. Yeah. Sam, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Marjan is helping me out to show me around. How many Muslim people live here? Uh, I think uh, 75. 50 family? Yeah. Maybe more than 1,000? More than 1,000? How old are you? I'm 18. Yeah, you're 18 years old. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And you also know how to pray? Yeah, I know. Okay, that's good. Sometimes I'm the Imam here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. So it means you know all the Quran? Yeah, I know. Wow. Congratulations. Filipino Muslims have their own community and mosque. Beside uh, Bicolano languages, they might speak some other native languages, probably from the Deep South. By the way, my recent trip to the Philippines only cost me $1,750. This included round trip, coach class flight tickets, two nights accommodation in Istanbul, Turkey, five nights in the Philippines, airport transfer, and accommodation three different cities in the Philippines. It's also included local domestic flights in the Philippines. If you are interested in doing similar trip, then just call the travel agency located in Los Angeles, California. Here's the number and tell them Uncle Sam's sent you. And I'm sure they would be able to arrange you the same kind of trip with the best available price. There is no any other place you can go to eat unless you take a transportation and go to the town. So I have been eating in this restaurant, the hotel restaurant, breakfast, lunch, dinner. The waiter goes to every room, every bungalow, and he, he give you the menu and say what you would like to order. And he take the order from your room, hand over the menu, and you order it. And he tell you, okay, um, your food will be ready at 8 o'clock. I order beef tapa, Filipino dish, and a kankon as a Filipino vegetable, Filipino spinach. Kind of. Sir, you're a bit tapa. Ah, oh, bit tapa. Fantastic. Oh, oh this is Okay, sir? okay, fantastic. Thank you.
this video is about to end. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.